Good morning and afternoon, Art Foundations. Well, here we are. Another day, another set of meetings. I apologize for having to leave you, but hopefully things will be better as the year goes on. Next year, for everybody who's in my drawing classes, a lot of meetings to deal with, and uh, again, I apologize. Let me take care of something here. There we go. Yes, cancel my scan. This computer's doing all sorts of stuff while I'm trying to do this. Anyhow, different story. Oh, here we go. Cancel the scan. Yes, oh my gosh. One take wonder. Here we go. Today what you're going to do is I want you guys to deal with the second page in this packet. Thankfully, one of you left yours sitting by the sink throughout the course of the day. We've got this lower half, and it's already divided out into grids. What I want you to do is to take this drawing and transfer it over to this side, going one square at a time. Transfer it one square at a time. You're going to start in black and white. The second thing I want you to do with this is I want you to choose a specific color scheme. We've done seven of them. This is achromatic right now, and I want you to choose a color scheme to put over on this side, whether it be monochromatic, complementary, split complementary, warm, cool, whatever you want to do. I want you to transfer this image to this side for today's class period. Up on the computer, or up on the, the screen after I'm done talking, your substitute's going to put up this website. I'll get this in a little closer for you. And it's on Piet Mondrian, The Evolution of Pure Abstract Paintings. And as you look through it, I want you to see the different types of color schemes and the different sets of images that Mondrian used. This would be reds and blues and yellows, so this would be a primary color scheme. Blues and oranges, this would be a, who's got it, who's got it, yep. And so you can go down and you can take a look at cool colors. Oh, here comes an announcement. And you can also see how Mondrian started to create abstraction and then to his most pure works in those pieces. So that's what you've got for today. If you have any questions, please ask your substitute. Otherwise, again, you're going to be dealing with this portion here. Tomorrow, we're going to bring in those advertisements. You're going to have that ad. Remember, I had the Monopoly and the Oprah Winfrey one. We're going to have to have those ads tomorrow so we can learn how to enlarge, using the grid, that part of that image. So make sure you've got a good ad for tomorrow. If you have any questions, please ask. Uh, don't forget, look over those Mondrian images as your sub goes through. If you have any questions or they need help, just ask for help and they'll take care of it. Ads for tomorrow. Write your goals down. I've got them posted. I want you to be very clear about that. And at the end of the hour, I want you to make sure you reevaluate your goals. How comfortable are you using the grid ratio system? How comfortable are you dealing with oh, all this paperwork? How comfortable are you going from this image to this image? Leave this top part alone. We're not going to deal with that. Anyway, that's that. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye.